Welcome to the Ephraim brand of wrestling and entertainment here on YouTube.com and the World Wide Web, providing you wrestling news, reviews, rumors, and insight you've grown accustomed to since 2010. My name is JC Styles, and I am back with another video for you guys tonight. With the recent unveiling of the WWE Women's Tag Team titles during the uh, Moment of Bliss on Monday Night Raw segment, and with the announcement last night on SmackDown Live, the inaugural WWE Women's Tag Team Champions will be crowned inside of the Elimination Chamber. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, an Elimination Chamber. Now, there is no news on how this match is actually going to play out. I would assume, possibly, they're going to start off the match with two tag teams. And then every few minutes, a new tag team will enter. Or, honestly, in my opinion, to make the match a little bit more enjoyable and just a little bit longer, maybe what they can do is have an elimination style match. Where you start off with two teams... And when one team gets eliminated, another random team joins the match. Kind of like almost like a gauntlet, but, you know, with the Elimination Chamber aspect to it. Or they can do a uh, free-for-all. So it's going to be six teams. They can have one member of each team start off the match and then the remaining member of the teams in the pods. I don't know, but it's kind of hard because there's going to be... Six teams. There's going to be three from Raw, three from SmackDown. So the way I assume that they're probably going to have to, um, if they do it that way, they're probably going to have to uh, add more pods. Or if do it the way that I said, maybe have uh, four teams in their individual pods and then have two teams start the match off. And then every time an elimination occurs, another uh, team enters. Uh, right now, as it looks, it looks like Sasha Banks and Bailey are the overall favorites to win this match. Um, but I don't want to talk about the outcome. I just want to talk about the match itself. Since the women's revolution, I have been behind the women of the WWE. They have been doing some phenomenal things, and I've said it in past videos. And I take my hat off, literally, to the women of the WWE because they have been doing some phenomenal things. First ever Hell in the Cell, Iron Man, ladder matches, TLC matches, tables matches, Extreme Rules matches, Hell in the Cell, Elimination Chamber, Royal Rumble, Last Women Standing matches. I mean, everything has been phenomenal. And I can't say it enough. They've had their very first ever all-women's pay-per-view, and it blew anything the WWE did over those few months out the water. It it destroyed Crown Jewel and the Greatest Royal Rumble in one night. Just phenomenal. And Sasha Banks really said it best when they had the match with Alexa overseas that the women of the WWE today give hope for the WWE, for the future women of the WWE. The little girls that sit in the audience and watch them in the ring and show them that anything is possible if they dream hard enough. And I cannot agree more. And I'm really looking forward to this match. I'm really looking forward to the 30 women battle uh, Royal Rumble match. I'm looking forward to WrestleMania. I'm just looking forward to everything that 2019 has to offer for the women's division. So guys... Leave your comments in the comment box below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on what you think and how you think this Elimination Chamber match for the newly WWE Women's Tag Team Championships should go. Do you think it should be an Elimination Style Gauntlet? Do you guys think it should be each member from one one member from each team in the match at the same time, and then all the other remaining members are in the pods? What do you guys think for the FM brand of wrestling and entertainment? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you guys will be notified when new content is made available. Guys, like always, thanks for watching and make sure you stay tuned.